is Jeff Cairns with Landmark Reports. Um, I am uh, uh, the uh, Chief Executive Officer, and um, I, uh, we have been around as a business here in the Tampa Bay area for about five years. Um, we started out from the subdivision appraisal side um, about five years ago. Um, what we kind of noticed was that there was a kind of a big gap uh, where there wasn't enough information that was very timely or in one place. And so it required the user um, to go around to multiple websites to go and find information uh, and then try and uh, put all that together to formulate what an appraisal would look like for a subdivision. So um, from that, we, we uh, were born and have really kind of focused on where we can get that information uh, and then to try and bring that out as a product. Uh, the best way that we found to do that was to um, do deed verification. And so uh, we, as a business, have used the clerk of courts to um, grab all the deeds, and we do that on a monthly basis. And we provide that to our client base here in the Tampa area, which is primarily um, uh, all the major home builders and uh, developers uh, at today. And um, uh, basically what we first started coming out with was a, uh, a reporting tool only. Um, and it, it allows the user to go in and uh, run a bunch of different reports uh, that are based on um, either a subdivision or what a builder is doing, um, things of that nature. And so about two years ago, we grabbed uh, a new concept, which was GIS, and that's the map-based um, system, similar to a Google Earth. And um, so what this allows for is that you can actually see from the top down exactly what's going on. And so um, we've put that into the marketplace for about two years now and have continued to expand upon that. And um, through a strategic partnership, we've actually just grown from being a local Tampa Bay provider to um, going through the, the state of Florida, up through Georgia, South Carolina, and now uh, North Carolina. So um, we have a, a broad uh, brushstroke kind of grouping of products that are deed related, um, but we also have the GIS tools. And one of the things we wanted to do during this time where everybody's kind of working from home and using a bunch of different tools was to take advantage of uh, what we offer as a platform and provide something to everyone in the Builders Association, a free tool that you can go and download. Uh, well, that's not necessarily download, but you can go in and, uh, and access on your, on your uh, iPad or your computer. And it's, a, it's a, a live map that you're basically taking a look at from the, from the ground, meaning when I say live, it's really just it's all the parcel information that we gather on a monthly basis. updated monthly so it's, it's close to real now the uh, what we're here is the, uh, the the sign up information and so what you want to look at uh, and where you want to go is to landmarkreports.com forward slash tbba uh, and uh, where you'll see on here, there's a free sign up. Uh, we're just going to go through this together. So we click on the free sign up button. And now you'll just come in and you'll be able to put in a username. Let's put in here Jeff. My first name. Oops. You need to put in a password. There we go. And then all you have to do is click the register my account button um, and just wait a couple of seconds. It's going to run through the process. And there we go. Now we're logged in. And that's all it was from the sign up process. And now all you have to do is come up here to the maps tab and then click on base layers basic. Um, this is the free tool that you have access to uh, that is um, a really powerful map that I think you can do a lot of stuff with no matter what you do in the, in the industry. Um, the first thing you're gonna see here is a splash page that gives you um, an overview of what you're gonna be looking at. So for example here, We've highlighted everything that's closed in the last 12 months, uh, anything that was over $1,000. Um, and, uh, and you'll see all those in red. Uh, and again, that includes residential, commercial, and industrial. 
Uh, you also have everything that's a vacant parcel and uh, again from commercial, residential and industrial. Um, and one of the things that's kind of cool here is we've actually highlighted all the Tampa Bay builders um, where, they, where they have lots uh, as the owner. Uh, you also get all the parcels. Um, this is for, we've aggregated these across all the different counties within the Tampa Bay MSA. Um, the quick links we'll go through real quick probably to start with here. And what, these, what this does is it allows you to uh, have a quick jumping point to get to all the planning departments within the counties and the cities. Um, we also have uh, the Southwest Florida Water Management District, uh, the current permits, uh, and that is a really helpful tool. I'll showcase that for you too. And the last one is the FEMA flood zones. Um, so the, the easiest thing that you can do is, uh, let me move this guy, uh, is to come over here on the right hand side in the upper, upper right and go ahead and go into a full screen mode. Um, this is, is um, a, a responsive design, meaning it's going to um, fit into your iPad or your, uh, your screen perfectly. Uh, and so and that's, uh, on this left-hand side here, you'll see that we have a uh, getting started guide. And the first step there was on the full screen. Um, you also see the, the tools here. So when you see the search, you've got a search, uh, a legend is up here, the different layers, and it gives you a definition of what these are. So to start with, um, what, Anybody, whether you're a, an elected official down to a contractor, one of the things that you may want to be able to see quickly is, and we'll jump over here to, here's all your layers, and these toggle on and off. Um, we'll take a look from the county side first. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, and what you're going to see is from, a, from where we have coverage for the Tampa market, if you were wanting to do some work in Hillsboro, for example, you can click uh, on the Hillsboro uh, polygon here and what you'll see is here's all the, the quick links that take you off to things like the property appraiser, muni codes, um, the clerk of courts, anything that you may need access to. Um, so it's a, it's a great uh, starting point and you can also do this from the city side. So if you were looking for the city of Tampa, you know, Plant City, Lakeland, something along those lines, you can then come in and do the same where you've got all the quick links that take you where you need to go. Um, and so Again, from a planning point, this is a great you know, starting point. You also have access to all the parcels like I was talking about. So if we're gonna click on the parcel layer here, you need to zoom in a little bit and anywhere in the counties that we have access, so all the way from Hernando up on the top out to Polk and then down, um, as we start to zoom in here, you'll see these turn on and the parcels are um, the exact same that you would get from any of the, the uh, property appraiser websites. And what's cool is all you do is you hover over one and then you can click on it and that'll pop up a window. You can get all the same information and you can also click here and this will take you directly to the property appraiser and then you can get the exact information that you want on that, uh, that parcel. So again, good jumping point if you uh, need to get information uh, from, from there. So, a couple of other things that, that we can take a look at here are probably best done through uh, more of a use case. So um, let me show you the different layers that we have and kind of how you can use these. Um, so to start with, let's take a look from the, uh, as a, let's say you are looking on the commercial development side. One of the things that you may have heard is that there's no commercial left uh, over here in Pinellas. So what we'll go, go and do real quick is we're going to come into here and we're going to take a look and click on the vacant parcels. And what you'll see start to, starting to pop up is this is all everything that the, uh, the county has shown as a vacant parcel. And the number that you see showing up here, that is the um, assessed value. So here you scroll down for the DOR code, you have vacant industrial. So again, it's, it's residential, commercial, and industrial. Uh, and so um, one of the things that you have as a tool set here is a filter. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the filters here. Uh, and all you have to do is open up the filter itself, make sure and toggle it on. And what we're gonna look for here is anything that has an acreage, let's, let's say 0 0.9, uh, 0.9, to let's say two acres and click those. There we go. And so as you can see, it filters these down and you start to run out uh, or uh, uh, 
remove some of the things that you that you just simply don't need. So we can come in here and take a look around in, in town. Um, uh, this is downtown St. Pete. Uh, start to come in and look and we can start to see where you might have some vacant uh, uh, vacant parcels throughout. So um, one of the things that you would want to see next is, well, what's being permitted in here? And so if you go back to your layer list here, you can quickly turn on the, uh, the current permit list. And so what you're trying to figure out here is here's all the new development that's happening uh, and the current development. So you see the pier that's coming in here. Um, and as you start to come in, you've got this uh, these different elements here. This is a good ca uh, candidate though, where you're taking a look here and from a permit perspective, we're seeing that this was permitted as a Fifth Avenue residences. Um, this was done back in 2016. And then if you wanted to see what was going on from the permit perspective, you can simply click here. This will take you directly to the documents for this project. And so now you're over on the, uh, uh, the water management district, click on the documents and then you can come in and actually see if this was was being built or has been built. Um, and so that's, that's a really helpful tool. If you're, uh, again, from the commercial side, trying to figure out um, you know, what's going on as far as, is there anything available out here and how can I find it? Um, another uh, use case that we can look at is really for, let's take it from the builder side. Well, we'll go to, um, let's go out to Riverview. Yeah. Just use the search tool and we'll come out and look out here in Riverview a little bit. And um, as you can see here from the map, we've got the, um, the aerial view of, you know, what appears to be some uh, development that's going on, but it's some pri pretty wide open spaces too. And so one of the other tools that you have here is you can actually switch the base map if you want. And we can come over here and take a look real quick and you can see what this looks like with the streets actually in. So it's just a different view. Um, so however you'd like to see these uh, and showcase them and, and uh, you can toggle back and forth. Uh, and then again, so let's take a look here and let's say for, um, for what we're trying to do that we want to, uh, you know, take it, somebody came to you and said, this is Ventana Groves. I've got a land track that's out here that I want you to take a look at. So one of the first things we go back to our layer list here, you can turn on the permits. And we're able to see pretty quickly what's going on for the different permits for Ventana. So again, you can open these up and go back to the different links and see what's happening here. Uh, you can also come in and take a look and see from a traffic perspective where are the, all the FDOT is located and say, okay, I wanna see where the roads are located and what the traffic is on these. So as you zoom out a little bit, you can see it gets a little bit on the messy side, but, but those, uh, those can be knocked down a little bit. So let's come over here and take a look from the FDOT side and we'll turn on our filter. And we're gonna say, for example, here that we wanna see row, FDOT roads that have a minimum daily traffic of 30,000 uh, people on them. So quickly here, we're able to see from the FDOT side where these start to run in and run out. So again, you can, you can modify these however you want, but if you were, again, from the, uh, maybe the commercial side, trying to find a Chick-fil-A location that needed a minimum of 30,000 people to be driving by that street, this will help you when you put the vacant lots on to see what's available on these roadways that you're looking for. Um, so let's come back out for a second and go back and look at this area. We'll leave this on for a sec so you can see. We go. So here's our neighborhood and uh, potential land tracks that we're going to be taking a look at to try and understand what's going on. So again, we can turn on the parcels uh, and this gives you a, a really good layout and this gives you actually everything that you're going to need to see. So if any of these uh, parcels are things you want to take a look at, you can see in my homes is the owner here um, and you can see it's vacant and the size of it and who they bought it from and when. Um, and so again, from the parcel perspective, this has always been pretty neat. This is actually kind of where people stopped uh, up until now, but where this tool comes in and starts to play a little bit um, uh, differently than some of the other tools that you may have used in the past 
is you can now come in and start to take a look and see where things like the closings occurred. And so we just put, I just turned on the closings here and we're able to zoom in pretty quickly and we can see where these transactions happen within the last 12 months. Uh, this is, these would be on the residential side. So as we come in, you can see that there's a common number that's going on here in the $6.5 million range. And this is a Cal Atlantic purchase. Um, this happened back in 2019 and this is the price. If you wanted to get a little bit closer and see what was just going on and uh, for Cal Atlantic in here, you can simply come over to the tool setup on the top from the filter. We'll turn on the closings, come in here. There we go. Yes, sir. And so if we want to take a look and see what's going on with this transaction here that was six and a half million, um, we can come in here to the sale amount and put in, let's say, six. 400 and 6500 there we go so if you zoom out just a little bit more now you can see this cal atlantic purchase and how many lots were associated with it so some of our other tools that we have we have a, a pro version of this it gives you more information from the bulk lot perspective but this is a kind of a quick way that you could add up exactly how many lots are in here that was made in this one purchase um, so again, we're going to take a look and see what's going on in here, um, and see where, uh, where the, the closings have happened as far as the lot transactions. And then we'll take a look at it from what's uh, still available. So let's take a look from the vacant side. So these, here we go, we'll zoom in a little bit. So these, uh, numbers that you're seeing here, this is the vacant, um, parcels. So these have a designation from the county that says that they are vacant. Um, and uh, so in, in here, you're going to take a look and you're going to see this, here's your vacant residential. And the number that you're seeing displayed is actually the assessed value the county has given for this. This number is going to be a little bit low based on the numbers that you just saw. But um, what we can take a look at and see as well is, let's see which ones are builder owned in here. And so this is something else that you may not see anywhere else. But right now, what we've provided for you is that you can actually come in here and you can see that these are all the Cal Atlantic properties. This is where Lennar made a purchase. Pulte, there's uh, some MI Homes information up here as well. And if you wanted to, uh, you know, try and just figure out, okay, well, let's look just from the builder own side. And I just want to see just the MI Homes ones. Um, we can come in here quickly and just put an MI. And that'll knock out everybody except for just the MIs that are in here. So again, we can start to see where the development is happening. And um, then if you if you have a land track, for example, that's of interest, then you can start to put things together to have it make a little bit more sense for you. Um, so for example, if we take the builders out of here, um, we'll turn the, this off, we'll turn these off, and we'll say, well, what's vacant through here? So you have a couple of different options. So um, one of the things you can look at here is this is a vacant land tract that's right next to all this development that's going on. It's unplatted currently, and it's about 13 acres. Uh, this is across the street from it. This is a vacant uh, uh, parcel as well, which is looks to be 15 and a half acres. So what's cool about this is if you wanted to be in communication with these people to see if it's available, uh, you can simply come in and get their mailing address and who the owner is. Uh, so again, very helpful tool in the the builder world um, to, to see what's going on. The, and then the last use case that I wanted to show you is where you can actually um, uh, upload your own data and put it side by side with what we have. So if you come over here to the little tool here that says add data, we're going to grab, uh, you can use a CSV file, um, a KML file, a shape file, anything that's um, a geo file that has a latitude and a longitude uh, so it can be displayed on a map. But we'll come over here. And let's go ahead and grab uh, the utilities, for example. There we go. And what you'll see is it'll come up here on the uh, display side on the left-hand side. So you, you can have that as a, a layer that you can toggle on and off. Um, so let's turn off the traffic for a second and we'll go up to Pasco. And let's take a quick look and see what it, what it is when you put your information next to ours to start to paint a picture. There we go. So what you're going to see, let's go back out just for a second, so I can find a neighborhood. There we go. So here's a new development that's happening. And as we come starting to zoom in, 
we wanted to know where the water and sewer was located, then as we get in, this now gives you where water and sewer is next to, let's say this was your development area and you are an engineer. Um, you can simply upload your um, shape file or your, um, your overall you know, site plan and put this in here and then this will help you to showcase to someone that may be in your office that, hey, here's where all the water is that we're gonna need to connect into our new project. Um, you can also then you know, show them what's going on as far as uh, other development, uh, new development that's happening that's around. So as you zoom out a little bit, if this was your, if you were doing South Branch Ranch, for example, turn these off for a sec. Uh, then you can also show them, here's the other developments that are happening in and around. And if you wanted to start to see where things had sold, you can quickly turn those on and see how the development is happening currently. Plus anything that may be vacant in the area uh, already. And again, you're just painting the picture for your clients as they're sitting in your office. It may be um, you know, where you were using something like Google Earth in the past, it, it, you only were able to focus on your singular uh, project. And now you're actually able to start to put things into place uh, a little bit different. And again, from the FDOT side, you can see where your traffic counts are that are running through here. And that will make, let you determine if you're on an FDOT uh, road or not from a permitting perspective. And then the last thing that I would show you is a really uh, helpful feature as well. And that's where the FEMA map comes in. So if you wanted to see how FEMA uh, floodplains were affecting your parcel uh, or your project, um, this is a, a, a really cool tool to be able to do that as well. So um, the, uh, the, uh, the only other thing that I was going to, uh, to mention with what we have in here from a, uh, a tool set, if you will, is that you also have the ability to measure. And so one of the things about measuring, which is um, uh, kind of helpful, is if we go back to the, the, um, the parcel side and you were to zoom in a little bit, um, one of the things you may want to know if you were trying to figure things out was, um, how big is the lot? Let's say, for example, you were going to take a look from a lot front. You can do this from a total area or you can do it from a front perspective. So in this in, in this case, let's take a look from the measuring of feet and let's go across one. And so you can just click once and then you come over here and click twice. And this will tell you that the fronts of these lots are 65 footers. So if you were in a neighborhood and you were trying to figure out, OK, is this product similar to my 40 or 50 foot product? In this case, it's not. It's a larger lot. So um, just another one of these helpful tools to, um, uh, you know, to, to, to have in here. So again, just to kind of summarize what it is that you're able to do here is you can really just see the, see the landscape a lot differently. You are now able to uh, have a, a jumping point where you may not have had that before to be able to come in immediately and click off and go to any place that you may need to go in any county to get the information you want. You can showcase your own product set, such as a site map or a site plan. You can also do land planning, um, as we displayed uh, over in the new development of Ventana Groves. Uh, and then uh, with the other tools where you're adding in information or searching, you know, again, from the commercial side, you can try and, you know, look for things where you say, for example, I need to see where there's a road that has a minimum of 30,000 uh, people a day that are traveling on it, and it has a uh, a DOR code of, um, of commercial and be able to dial in immediately to what's going on and then be able to get their mailing address so that you can be in contact with them. Um, the main thing uh, that I want you just to know as well is this is really um, just scratching the surface. Uh, this is um, uh, a free tool that, that we have available to you as a, as a member, and, um, but we do have uh, a paid tools as well. Um, this is um, uh, we have a pro version of this where you have additional layers that are, um, you know, things like soil layers or um, uh, school zones, power transmission lines, things like that. And you also have more robust tools where you're able to do more complex queries and then export the data out into something that you can manipulate on your own side in Excel or something along those lines. Um, and then the other thing that I want to mention is we also have from the, from the deed verification side, um, a whole brand new uh, mapping platform that, again, through a strategic partnership, we've able, been able to um, uh, bring forward into the marketplace uh, here in, in Florida. And what this will do is w so many different um, mapping, excuse me, uh, reporting options that allow you to use a polygon tool um, or something like that to create your own 
uh, submarkets. You can, um, and then you know, set your own templates so that they are uh, based on what it is that you, your own criteria is as a business, and then uh, run and save those templates off, and then run them every month. And so the, the, it's, it's your own custom reports that you're doing internally. And because we now have a, a, a bigger uh, section or an area, uh, this is something that some of the larger companies can take on and take a look at. Um, I have a free trial available for all of our products, um, including our new regression analysis tool. So if these are some of the things that uh, you know, you're, you're uh, needing, um, I want you to know that this is a, a, a a new way of doing things, I think, for some people in the deed verification side. It's not dependent on people driving around and, and counting draperies or doing anything in that way. This is uh, researchers actually going out to the deeds every month um, and recording all that information and then putting it into a very interactive program that creates custom uh, reporting for you and then the analysis uh, that comes with that plus the regression and then obviously the mapping that I've showed you here. This was just a, it's a, a, a very low end, uh, if that makes sense. So um, it's, I think it's, it's super robust compared to anything that you might be using today uh, in the market. Um, but again, we do have a pro version of this and we have other ones that are available that we can do a free, uh, a free trial for you. So I hope you'll uh, check that out. And um, you can contact me, uh, Jeff Cairns. My phone number uh, is area code 321-866-8442. Uh, you can also reach me at jeff at landmarkreports.com.